Hey there, I'm Ari and welcome to my corner. Uh, today I am doing my, uh, my art pile. Um, so I had a couple of drawings with line art but no coloring so I decided to color them and film them. So I'm doing one of those trendy art pile things. Um, so um, I guess I should talk about a little bit of what I'm drawing for each of these. Uh, this first one is a new D&D character that I'm going to be playing in November at some point. Um, his name is Doran, I believe. Um, and he's a Simic hybrid artificer and I, uh, I love him. He has no personality whatsoever and he doesn't laugh because he thinks it's a waste of time and effort and he is evil. Well, he is chaotic neutral, so he um, has no morals. So, tends to do bad things for basically no reason. And has no issues doing it. So, um, yeah. I am quite enjoying uh, having him as part of my little D&D character family. Um, so, yeah. He, uh, he's a Simic hybrid made from a high elf, that is why his skin is blue, um, and Simic hybrids are, um, humanoids with animal parts fused to them using magic, uh, so, uh, um, Doran is a, uh, he has, a a manta ray fin or wings um, on his shoulders. You can see them coming off um, up onto his chest, um, but they're fused at his shoulders and they um, they come out and they can help him uh, slow down when he falls off of stuff so he doesn't take as much damage. Um, he's actually able to glide with them too. They go all the way down to his feet. Um, I just obviously didn't draw him full body, so they didn't go out all the way down like they're supposed to. But, um, yeah, they're, uh, he's got, um, manta ray, uh, fin or, uh, wings. They describe it as fins or wings in the book, so, um, I'm not sure what the actual technical term for them is. Uh, yeah, um, because of that, he only his shirt only um, goes around like his neck and then around his waist. It doesn't connect in the back at all because there's no way for it to. And you know, I I think I'm going to enjoy playing Doran. He's uh something I've never tried doing before, so that'll be interesting. Um, and I'm quite enjoying playing artificers, so that'll be fun. Playing another artificer. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there is um, three drawings in this one, this one, and two more. Um, the next two drawings are of characters me and my friend made for a one-off for co-hosting. Um, well, actually, it's a one-off we've already done. Um, we did it on s last Saturday. Um, um, but we... Uh, we drew out everyone's characters beforehand so that they, they would know what their character looked like. Um, so, um, I believe we had four players, including the two of us. So there were six people, and um, she made two people's characters, and I made two people's characters, and then we worked together to make a character. So we would have a character that would have multiple personalities, and we'd switch out playing him. Um, our character is not in here, um, but I uh, drew a, um, a fire genasi. Uh, she was a fire genasi champion fighter. Yes. Yes, her name was Pyra. 
and uh, I um, I drew her and she was super cute um, so yeah, she's got red fiery hair and darker skin and these cracks on her body because you know she's a Dranasi and they're 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 elemental beings and they're beautiful and I've only drawn a couple and I always end up having I'm always ending up drawing a fire one. I I've drawn three fire genasis now I think, but none other because you know no one else wants no one wants to be any other type of genasi. Then again me and my friend did roll for these characters, so we rolled um I pulled up a number generator on Google and um because there's thirty eight races in D&D and I don't have a 38 sided die so I just pulled out a number generator and we used that to determine what who would get what and um, we also did the same for their class because there's 14 classes in D&D um, so um, we pulled out the number generator and um, we rolled um, so um, this one was rolled as a uh, Genasi and as a fighter and we chose champion and um, Because it's easy and this person hasn't been playing D&D as long as the rest of us So we thought we would start her off with something easy Because um, champion um, champion fighter is really easy to play uh, But we also um, We also rolled a d4 to see what type of genasi she would get so um, we rolled and um, we assigned e an element to each number, and we rolled, and we got a fire genasi. So we, it was fair. We didn't just choose to make her a fire genasi. It was fair. We did roll for it, like we just rolled for everything else. Um, um so yeah, we uh, rolled, and we got her a. Uh, Excuse me, I'm yawning. Um, but so yeah, I made her have fiery red hair and these very fiery eyes and this darker skin with cracks in it to make it look like more like Janassi skin. And I put her hair in a braid. <laughs> a funny thing about the braids is that um, uh, both me and my friend made a male and a female character. Um, both of our female characters have braids, um, and then, uh, I think the person with the shortest hair was actually our play our character, because she, her male character has long hair, and the male character I made has long hair. You'll be seeing him soon, um, but, um, yeah, Pyra turned out super cute, and I love her, um, I'm really hoping that uh, the uh, person who gets her treats her well and uh, likes her as much as I do because uh, I would die for this beautiful lady who is super cute and um, yeah. Uh, so uh, a couple of the other ones that we rolled that my friend made, my friend made a, um, a goliath bard of valor I believe. Um, who was the other female. We also rolled for that. I have a two-sided die, which is practically just a coin. We decided a gender to each side and we rolled for it. So the Goliath was female. And then she also made a uh, half-orc uh, ranger, I believe. And they were, they were so cute. Um, he was very very gay and very very twinky uh but not, not enough about that i guess i should explain the uh second character i made for this one off which was matthew i love him he's wonderful uh he is an asm he is a protector asimar uh what was it there's a protector asimar oh divine soul sorcerer yes He's a divine soul sorcerer. 
he is he is a baby I love him he has a baby I've been making this character sheet and I looked at some of the traits and stuff and it's like I like that one it's that one it involved them now having a child so Matthew is now baby daddy and he's only like 25 or something I don't remember how old I made him. I think I made him 24, but he now has a kid. So that's how I decided to do this. Um, and yes, he's an Azimar, and yes, he's a protector. Um, I also rolled for some physical traits that he has, uh, um, like, um, my friend has this Azimar chart for different things you can get for, um, the Azimars. Uh, so I rolled three times and I got that he had blackened knuckles and that he had um, Metallic dragon wings instead of like feathered ones. Um, so I made them silver to match his eyes and um, That his breath smelt like flowers so um, I wrote that on their sheet so that way they would know that his breath smelt like flowers Um, so, yeah. I had a lot of fun making these characters for this one-off, and I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Uh, this one-off is actually going to be, is actually a horror-themed one-off, and I'm excited to co-DM this with my friend. It's going to be zombie apocalypse mixed with vampires, and, oh, there's a couple other things in this abandoned, um, Mord, so it's gonna be awesome the flickering lights and everything uh if you actually want to hear about it you'll have to let me know in the comments so i know that i should make a video about it maybe i'll draw the main bad guy maybe uh but i will let you go to enjoy the rest of this video without me talking even though there's not much left of this video and i have to do an end thingy anyway so if you liked my video, you can give me a thumbs up. That'd be appreciated. And if you have some some if you have some constructive criticism or we want to hear about this Halloween one-off I did, you can leave me a comment in the comment section down below. That would also be appreciated. And if you liked this video and you want to see next week's video, which I actually don't know what you're getting. Um Yeah, I don't know what you're getting. But if you want to find out with me, uh, you know, you could, uh, subscribe, that'd be appreciated, and you can watch all my other videos, because last week I did an Inktober video, and I'm super happy with it. So, uh, I will see you guys next week, for whatever comes. Bye!